What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brandy from Stay Snatched, and we are doing one of my most requested things today. I'm gonna show you guys everything I got from Trader Joe's today, and so I'm gonna try to keep these updated every time I make a trip there, come back, show you guys my Trader Joe's haul. Trader Joe's and Costco are probably <laughs> staples in this house. Those are two of the places that I'm always at when I need groceries and when I need food. They have, in my opinion, the best organic selection and just high quality products for very reasonable prices. And so I don't remember the price of every single item I bought today, but I always know a little ballpark. So I'll try to share uh, what I got, if I've used it before, how I used it, if I've used it before, if I haven't, how I may plan to use it or test it out, and just a rough estimate of how much it cost. So let's dive in. And so this actually, it doesn't look like it was that big of a haul. It kind of was, it kind of wasn't. I have everything here, and then I have some things um, kind of spread out back there. But we'll get started with these uh, fresh cuts. So one, things that, one thing that Trader Joe's is very well known for, I'm just trying to make sure you guys can see that. Make sure there's not a glare on there. So it says fresh cuts on it and the ingredients. Let's actually look at the ingredient label. Asparagus, mushrooms, red onion, shiitake mushrooms. There aren't any other ingredients in here. These aren't even seasoned. And so I got two of these. They are perishable. You have to keep them refrigerated. There's a uh, best buy and sold by date on there. So you want to try to use them up uh, quick enough for those. But what I'm going to plan on using these for are omelets or stir fries. And so I have another item here, their vegetable stir fry. Let me hold this up. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's their Asian stir fry. I love to make fried rice with this. And same with this, you can throw this asparagus saute is what it's called. You can throw it in with the fried rice or just pan sear it on the stove, maybe make you up some salmon, a chicken breast, literally anything, but it just takes your time. Um, it gives you more time, saves you time. Why can't I talk today, y'all? Saves you time in slicing up your vegetables. So that's what I love about them. They're conveniently packed and I can use them for just a quick meal, quick lunch, quick dinner. So on the note of fried rice, this is a new product they have hold it up here this is the organic jasmine rice and so i love to use jasmine rice when i do make my uh, fried rice recipes and so now that they have it in organic even better uh, these asparagus fresh cuts two maybe three dollars the asian stir fry i feel like is more of a four to five dollar item this rice was only a couple of dollars um next fun item i have not seen these Let's see if i can hold these up speculus cookies in so long i actually was looking for them a few months ago because i had been traveling this summer and i had quite a few delta flights these are the equivalent of the delta cookies in my opinion the description says crisp caramelized cinnamon spice belgian cookies and those delta cookies are you know somewhat along the lines of there but i've been flying a few times this summer flew delta they didn't handle delta cookies they were giving out um i can't even remember pretzels kind bars i think and almonds so not even peanuts i don't know if that's the nut allergy thing or what but no delta cookies so like in july i was like oh, i'm gonna go to trader joe's i just have a craving for some and they didn't have them however they had them in this visit so i absolutely love these a lot of people will like drink them with coffee they're so good uh, if you've ever had like their cookie butter or their cookie butter ice cream this this is the flavor of that um this is a product that's new to me i think it's fairly new it's the thai style green chili sauce so i'll try to hold that up Hopefully you guys can uh, see all of this stuff, but it says it's a slightly spicy aromatic sauce with garlic, shallot, lemongrass, and Thai lime leaves. I'm planning on using it in my stir fries and stuff like that. And just anytime I want to give something a kick, my favorite thing to do so that I never get bored with the food that I'm eating is to add sauces. This was only a couple of dollars and looking at the nutrition facts, 
two tablespoons is 90 calories and it doesn't have any added sugar. So even pretty good macros on those. And we have another chopped veggie situation. So this is their Mirio Pox. It's a combination of carrots, celery, and onions already chopped up for you. I like to grab this almost, let me hold it up so you can see it has carrots, onions, and celery at the top. I love to grab this almost every time I go because the base of all of my soup recipes and probably most soups that you will make are these three ingredients. And so I can get any soup going just with having these three ingredients. So I love to have this on hand. This is another maybe $4 for this. Um, Y'all, the black truffle ketchup. So this is the summer black truffle ketchup. Make sure y'all can see that. Last summer was the first summer I had ever seen this there and it came back this summer. So it's probably leaving since I got pumpkin stuff to show y'all. Since pumpkin is on its way in, I'm sure this is on its way out. So every time I go, I make sure to grab some of this. I absolutely love it. This is a new product, new to me. I'm not sure if it's actually new, black garlic. Just as a garlic lover, I saw it and picked it up. It was only a couple of dollars. So I plan on just trying to add it to pretty much anything that I would um, put garlic in. Not that fun either. This is just sliced black olives. And I love to add olives to my pasta salads or just my regular salads or when I make nachos, I use lots of olives. New product this summer is this green goddess Gouda cheese. I haven't tried this yet, but um, they're very famous for their green goddess flavor. They didn't have the green goddess seasoning. I wanted to grab that. They're pretty much doing a full line of green goddess almost everything. And so I love Gouda cheese. So I picked up this and then this is a multi-purpose cleaner with cedar wood and sage and it's plant-based and it says it cuts through grease. So I haven't used this either. See if you guys can see that but it says it's a multi-purpose cleaner and i'm just gonna try this out i love getting wines from there this one's a cabernet bogle vineyards looks like is the brand this was like maybe in the seven dollar range and then i've seen fit vine i've never tried it though I've seen a uh, Fitvine before. It's supposed to be one of those without added sugar type uh, wines. I feel like this was less than $10 as well. It is a Cabernet. So I grabbed that. So before I get to the stuff back there, let's just dive into some pumpkin stuff, y'all. Today, September 7th, <laughs> I think today, September 7th, was the first day that they were supposed to be doing their pumpkin stuff. Uh, they didn't have a ton of stuff. They, it seemed like they were really heavily focused on like the body stuff and the candles. And then they had a few other pumpkin things intermixed, but this pumpkin body butter, just trying to make sure y'all can see. Uh, I don't remember this uh, being a thing last year, but they have been doing tons of body butters. I am in love with the Brazilian body butter, which is a dupe for the bum bum cream and that stuff sold out quickly. So I'm qu um, anxious to see what happens with this uh, pumpkin body butter. If it does the same thing, I grabbed a couple just because I've tried the cocoa butter one. I've tried the Brazilian bum bum one. I bought the grapefruit one, but I don't even know if I got around to using it, but I love them. They're usually really thick and rich. So I figured why not? Uh, those are usually like $5.99, $4.99, $5.99 maybe. And then they had the pumpkin overnight mask. So I'll hold that up. This was another $4.99 one. Um, I got this one because they have a dupe for the watermelon glow overnight mask. And so um, I'm assuming that this is gonna be kind of the same thing, but just with pumpkin. So for the description, it says with pumpkin fruit extract, papaya enzymes and plant derived squalane, which I'm not sure what that is, but I'll give it a whirl. This is, did I already say maybe four or five bucks? So for the description of the pumpkin body butter, it says luxurious body butter made with coconut oil, shea butter, and pumpkin seed oil. So it even has like some shea butter 
in there. So we'll see how that goes. Intermission. I went through this entire haul and I did not talk about these candles, y'all. I made me some lunch, got to thinking, and I was like, I never said anything about these candles. So this is the Honey Crisp Apple Scented Candle. Um, I believe these were out last year, but these were there in time for today's pumpkin launch. Ooh, it smells really apple-y. Um, but it's actually kind of um, giving me vibes of Bath and Body Works. If you ever back in the day used to go to Bath and Body Works, I think they had like an apple orchard flavor. It's kind of giving me those vibes, but it does smell really good. So it says high scented candle. I think I got three of both. This one is the vanilla pumpkin scented candle. And so on here, it says made with a natural soy wax blend, lead free cotton wick. Oh my gosh, this smells heavenly. Mm. The vanilla pumpkin smells good. The apple smells good too. Oh, I just smelled the vanilla pumpkin one all over again. The apple one smells good too. It does smell really apple-y. It just really gives me the nostalgia of that Bath and Body Works stuff. Heavy. And I didn't get these candles last year. So I don't have a review yet, but they both smell really good. Just sniffing them off rip here. So back here, not really too much fun stuff. Oh, maybe except for these, everything but the bagel seasoning, ciabatta rolls. Um, I tried these before. It's kind of a lot of bread, so it's not something that I can eat very quickly. So I do like to keep these in the fridge so that the bread lasts longer. But what I like to do is they already come sliced. So I'll drizzle some olive oil on it and then get these in my cast iron skillet to toast them. And then sometimes I love to top them with Trader Joe's has these amazing grilled artichokes and then maybe like some sun-dried tomatoes or make it like a bruschetta situation or you can just eat it. I love to make it a sandwich too. So even toasting it in my cast iron, I can put maybe a fried egg on top, add some bacon, boom, got a breakfast sandwich. So every once in a while, I love to grab these. I feel like these have been around for at least a year now. Um, I'm not even sure if I've had them in 2021, but um, they are really good. And then I've got kind of the same things, uh, multiple items of the same thing back here this is just organic black beans i love to get these to make uh tacos and use in my taco and nacho recipes these are organic great northern beans and i love to get these for chilies so i have a white chicken chili recipe on my uh, site that this goes well with and then these are just green chilies again for nacho and taco nights i love to just dump those in there and so this was just a quick and easy haul i'm gonna keep my eyes peeled because i know more pumpkin stuff is gonna be on the way and so if i go later this week or maybe next week whenever that stuff starts to kind of trickle out i'll definitely do another haul to show you guys what pumpkin stuff i'm grabbing and what they have but Hopefully this kind of gives you an idea, a peek into things that I'll be making and cooking this week here at home. <music>